Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dana Banana. So today I am trying out the, I get, I think it's pretty new, the brand Joa and it's sold at CVS. It is a, it's a pretty inexpensive brand. They claim to be cruelty free. I am not 100% about that because they are owned by Kiss and I don't think that Kiss is cruelty free. If anybody knows the facts on that, please check me and please put it in, leave a comment and I will pin that comment. But they are a, they are pretty inexpensive. The shade range sucks for, they have a cushion foundation and they have like, this is a natural finish foundation drop. This, the cushion foundation had three shades. This one had a few more, but still a really crappy shade range. So it is not inclusive just to let you know, but I still wanted to give this a shot because a couple people have asked me about it. So here I am. I pretty much picked up everything. I did not get an eye primer or a setting spray. Let's just get right into this. All right, I'm going to start off with the brows. I got, they had quite a few different brow products, which was pretty interesting, but I picked up the brow down to me. It's a brow pencil and gel. So one side is a pencil and then the other side is a gel. So I'm just going to speed up. I'll show you me doing my brows, but I'll speed it up quite a bit because I know that's boring, but it is, it's like this. It's like an angled one. And then on the other side, excuse my nails, need to get them done bad. It's a little tiny brow gel brush, whatever. It's actually a really nice product. It You don't have to push too hard, but it's also not too creamy because sometimes I don't like when products are too creamy. They just kind of get messy for me, but I actually like this. The color is good for me. This is the shade Brunette. Now, s people always comment on my brows, how they don't like the, how I do them, but this is how I like to do them. Um, this is the color I like. If you see how dark my roots are, I try to match my roots. It's just what I like. So I do like this brow pencil a lot. I just filmed one look on this eye and I failed because this palette that I have, this is the birthday suit palette. I, in the store, I was like, oh, this looks really nice. Well, there is only one matte shade in it, and the matte shade is this dark one. So I tried using the dark one in the crease and then blending it out with this one, which is like seems the least shimmery. I thought maybe like sometimes they don't come sometimes they don't come off as shimmery as they look in the palette. Well, it was shimmery as hell. So that look failed. So now I'm just going to try again. Pretty much all I'm going to use is this <laughs> in the crease and then I'm going to use another palette for the rest of the look. If you are into shimmers, you might like this. I'll swatch one of them. I'll swatch this. Uh, it's called Rose, this one. See, they're pretty pigmented. They're nice, but for me on my lid, they're not shimmery enough. And I don't know, they just kind of lack a lot for me. So, but I will say that whenever I used this color, this matte one, um, I, it's super pigmented and it blended beautifully. So I do like this matte shade. So I could see myself if they ever came out with more mattes, um, I would definitely purchase them 100%. But with all these shimmers, I'm just not a fan. But just let you know, that's the only color I am using from this palette. Okay, so as you can see, 
I'm not gonna film the rest of me doing this look, but yeah, it's very pigmented. It's really creamy. It looks really nice. I mean, obviously I haven't blended it fully. Maybe they do have more matte shades. I just didn't see them, um, or they didn't have it at my CVS, but if they ever come out with some, I will definitely buy their matte shades. Okay, so finished the eye look, and I used my Carly Bible palette, one of my all-time favorite palettes. This is the second one I've purchased. Now, we're going to try out eyeliner. They also had quite a few different options for eyeliner, so I thought that was pretty neat. I got the brush tip eyeliner. They had a felt tip, they had I don't know, a couple of other things, but I decided to go with the brush tip eyeliner. It's called I'm So Fly Liner. All of their packaging is really cute. Like the um, eyebrow pencil, I love that one. Oh, it looks like this. That is strange. You're not going to be able to really tell the, um, I don't know. It looks weird. It looks plastic almost I don't know this is weird I swatched it on my hand oh no this is the weirdest brush I've ever seen I, I don't even know how to explain it Okay, first off, it is extremely easy to control. Now, um, it is black, but it's not as black as I would like. But I'm going to do the other eye too, and then I'll let it dry, and then I'll try to do another coat to see if it gets even more black. I'm not doing a wing just because of the style eyeshadow I have on, but I feel like if this is so easy to control, I feel like you could really easily create a winged look. I will be using this again, so I'll let you know my thoughts um, on how it creates a wing, but I feel like it will be super easy. Yeah, once you go over it, it's really black. Okay, I didn't think I was going to like this. I actually really like this. Let's do mascara before I put on my lashes. Um, this is, they had quite a few mascaras too. This one is the Volume and Length Mascara. It's called Ice Cream. That's super cute. Super cute packaging. Oh no! I think this is a fiber mascara. What the heck? It didn't say that. I don't know if you can tell, but like there's little fibers in it, I think. Please don't get in my eye. I hate fiber mascaras. Even though I don't have lashes, Normally once I put like a couple coats on, you can kind of see them, but they're still like, looks like I have no lashes. I don't, I don't think this is a, I think this is a no-go for me. I got my lashes on, so let's move to the face. This, they had a couple different primers. I chose this one because it looked the coolest. It's called Glow Activator Radiance Primer, and it's like got some little gold flakes in it. I wasn't sure if this would be similar to the, I believe it's called Honey Do Me, Do Me Up or something like that, <laughs> from NYX, and I really like that primer. I don't think it's going to be quite exactly like it because that one, the NYX one is way too thick to go through a pump, and this one has a pump, so we'll see. Ooh. It kind of has like a silicone feel to it. But it's not as, it's a little more moisturizing than your regular silicone primer. But I definitely don't see how it would give like a radiant look. I don't know. <laughs> but it, it definitely has that silicone feel. So if you don't like that, I do not recommend this primer. I'm actually going to spray some of my Makeup Revolution um, Pro Base over it just to kind of, because I feel like the silicone like just does not go well with my dry skin. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that and then just moisturize my base a little bit. So 
This is the foundation. It's called Truly Yours Natural Rin Natural Finish Foundation Drop. It's if you can hear, it sounds very liquidy. I'm going to try to apply it with a brush. I'll use my Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki brush, but then I'll probably end up going back over it with my sponge. Okay, gotta work fast. Okay. Okay, the coverage is actually way better than what I was expecting. Um, I was kind of expecting it to like spread out into nothingness. The shade actually isn't too bad for me. It's super pale right now. It's not like super full coverage, but it is covering pretty well. I'm actually like impressed because it kind of reminded me of the NYX dropper foundation that I'm, I love NYX foundation, I love the um, Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation, but that dropper foundation is not for me, it's way too light, like light coverage. So this one's actually pretty nice, I'm going to add another layer to see if it's buildable. Oh. Okay, definitely buildable. I am going to just pat it just to make it like sink in even better. But I'm actually impressed by this. The coverage is nice. It's like covering everything, but I feel like it still looks like kind of natural. Looking good in my porous areas. It's not setting into anything so far, so. I mean, it's not a bad foundation at all. Now on to concealer. They had two different types of concealers. This one's the Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer. It's this little sponge applicator. Let's see. Eh, that's not too bad. It is a little darker than what I would normally go for for my under eyes, but I mean, it's... I would still use it like it's, you know. This actually feels really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go right into blending it out in case it dries super fast. Oh, that blends really easily. It's like, I'd say it's medium coverage. But it blends really easily. It's nice. I'm actually, like, I thought I would like the face products the least, but the face products are what I'm liking the most, I think. Actually, I like the eyeliner the best so far, but still. These face products are not bad. And this feels so cool on my skin. I like the way this looks on my skin. It's not drying, but I would definitely say it would probably be pretty decent for oily skin because it's definitely not definitely not like a moisturizing concealer it's not dewy or anything I would say it's probably probably pretty safe for oily skin this is the selfie ready setting powder and this is in banana they had a super white one didn't want to get because I don't want to deal with flashback and then they had um, I believe it was a peach one it seems super fine and I like that. I like like super, super fine powders. Okay, so it's very, oh my God, look at my jacket. Can you see <laughs> It's very, very powdery. It's super, super fine, which I don't mind. I do like fine powders. I feel like they're better for my dry skin, but 
you do gotta watch out you'll be inhaling it like crazy okay that is really nice um it's not like caking up because i have dry skin a lot of times um powders will like kind of start to look cakey after I set my concealer but this one is not it's making my under eyes look flawless okay so I did my lower lash line and I reapply or I applied some of the mascara to my bottom lashes I'm still not a huge fan of it it just doesn't have that oomph that I need like it's it's black but it's not black enough it's kind uh, I don't know when I put it on my eyes kind of started feeling gritty I guess it's got fibers in it and I hate fiber mascaras my eyes are way too sensitive for that so that mascara is no for me <laughs> now this is the blush and it's called be my everything a blush and bronze palette now I thought it was pretty cool not very practical but pretty cool because it's like it's gradient it goes from like bronzer to blush to I guess a highlighter I normally use a bigger brush but since it's like this I'm going to use a smaller brush and I feel like it's not blending out that easily I mean it's not horrible it's just like I feel like it's takes a lot to blend out and also it's like not very pigmented let's try the blush portion okay that's not showing up on me at all i'm not liking this palette i'm actually gonna add a blush that i actually like i'm gonna go in with my uh sigma corda rosa blush looks like that I'm just adding this blush um I don't like that I do not like this little palette I think it's horrible does not work for me does not work for Dana Banana I will actually use my makeup revolution oh jelly highlighter Oh, let me not forget to wipe away this little excess powder. Like, the bronzer didn't turn out horribly, but it's, like, I like a warm bronzer. I really do, but that's just, like, it's just kind of or too orange for me, and it took way too much work to get on to my skin, so that's just it. N -n 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 no. Okay, now time for the lips. I picked up a lip liner, and then they had some matte liquid lipsticks i just picked up one i've been just I, I spent i just bought a bunch of hard candy liquid lipsticks the glitterazzi ones the ones that get all glittery at the end because i wanted to do a lip swatch video for y'all so i bought every single one halfway through i started realizing the formula is just not good it's super patchy way too drying and so like I, so I decided, you know, if before I do lip swatch videos, I'm going to try like multiple times. I'm going to try one of them and then I will do a lip swatch video. So if I happen to love these, I'll probably do a lip swatch video on them. But this is in the shade Pink Smoothie. I got this one because at one of my CVS's, it was the only one that was sold out. So I was like, hmm, what's going on here? Do a lot of people like this? You know, I'm a sheep. I'm a follower, apparently. So I had to go to another CVS and picked it up. Let's start off with the lip liner. It's creamy. I'm putting this all over my lip. Because honestly, I really like the color of it. This is a really nice color. So let's put this pink smoothie on. This is a little a bit more pink than the lip liner. This is really creamy though. I do like this. I think it's nice. She wanted to make some noise, so here she is. Say hi, everybody. Hi. She'll sit with me. I actually really like this. I just like the feel of it. It feels super, super light. 
but it's like the perfect kind of matte. It's like, like a satin matte. I don't know. I'm really liking this. I'm going to wear this a couple more times and like see how it wears and stuff and then I might do a lip swatch video on these because this is one of my favorite parts. The lip liner too. I absolutely love the lip liner. So the lip products and the eyeliner are my top favorite and then I really do, I'm not going to lie, I like the foundation and the concealer and the setting powder and the eyebrow product. The eyebrow product was like pretty good. It was nice. It's simple to use. Um, you can't be super precise with it, so if you're wanting like that super sharp brow or anything, I wouldn't suggest it. But the only thing I did, I hated the blush and bronze palette, and then I'm not a fan of the eyeshadow palette, not the shimmers at least, but I did like the dark brown matte color. Like I said, if they have or ever come out with a fully matte palette, I will 100% purchase that. So yeah, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've tried their products, let me know what you feel about them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.